Harim again. I'm sure Elizabeth will be fine. Where in blue blazes have you been, Thomas Briscoe? I, uh, well, I, I, th th that is... Oh, don't give me your half-baked excuses. You missed my dinner party for the Hamiltons. Listen, my love. Don't you dare try and soft-soap me. I don't suppose it even occurred to you how embarrassed I would be? You set off on your quest without telling your wife? The thing is... This is going to cost you dearly. Excuse me, Elizabeth. Yes? You'll be free in a second. Are you all right? Oh, of course! I'm used to being tied up. What I'm not happy about is that my jewels have been stolen while you were gadding about. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. We'll get them back for you, won't we, Captain? Oh, uh, of, of course we will. Did anything else happen while Hilary Simpkins and his men were here? They were incredibly rude. I asked if they wanted afternoon tea and cucumber sandwiches, and they refused my kind offer. Really? Some people are brought up no better than animals. <laughs> In Simpkins' case, that's an insult to the animals. The repulsive young man he left behind took something from your desk, Thomas. I was tied up, so helpless to stop him. But I was absolutely furious. He put his grubby finger marks all over my beautifully polished furniture. Signor Briscoe? Yes? Don't you love your wife? Of course I do. Then why didn't you tell her about your quest? It was the only way of not having her oppose the idea. <laughs> Captain Simpkins will be pleased with this little gem I've found. How would you know? You can't even read. Well, actually, I told him what it was. He did threaten me. Yeah, said I'd pour brandy over a carpet if she didn't. Then you did it anyway, you scoundrel. Now I'm going to sink the winsome maid. No! Oh no, he's trapped us in here. We must escape and recover the items Simpkins stole. It's more important that I warn my crew about Arno's plans. My carpet! The, the brandy has ignited! We must escape before we're burned alive. The carpet is ruined. But on a positive note, that's one less thing to clean. If I could find some sausages, this drama would become a barbecue party. Ah, oh, I had my blue diamonds in this purse. I guess you won't miss the purse then. Elizabeth? Do you have any ideas that might help us? This is a nightmare. You've got to get us out of here. I could use the gunpowder if I had an appropriate container. The iron bar is used as a poker for the fire. It may be useful.
if Briscoe had been the first man ever, this painting would have probably been called the Adams Family. Senor Briscoe? Yes? Can you think of anything that might help us? My mind's a complete blank. All I can think about is that we're going to burn alive. The door's locked. Arno's nailing down the shutters. We're really trapped now. Oh no! Hillary's men nailed the shutters down! We're trapped! I could use the gunpowder if I... The iron bar is used as a... I guess you... We can't leave the house this way, though the whole room is on fire. I can't reach the window because of the flames. A net curtain made of silk. When the fire reaches this, it will burn like crazy.
Brisco looked much slimmer back then. Hmm. I should focus on finding a way to save us all before we're suffocated by smoke. This looks very expensive. Correction, it was very expensive. I get the iron bar is I can't reach the window because of the flames. Elizabeth? What? Do you have any ideas that might help us? This is a nightmare. You've got to get us out of here. Can't you blow the door up or something?
Come on. Now I just need a fuse. That's too dangerous. It'll blow my hand off without a fuse. Focus on Senor Briscoe? Yes? Can you think of anything that might help us? My mind's a complete blank. All I can think about is that we're going to burn alive. One of these fringes may be useful. How dare you! That's a set of curtains you owe me! I don't care about your stupid curtains as long as Morgane can save us! I... Now it's ready to go. I get the iron bar is.
Hmm, one of these fringes may... How dare you? I don't care about your stupid curtains as long as Morgane can save us. I... Come on! Now I just need a fuse. Now it's ready to go. Here goes. What are you doing? We've got to put out the fire! I'm ringing the bell for help. Elizabeth and I will attend to the fire while you stop Arno. Thank you. Hurts. What? Why is Shimkin's ship leaving? Now, wait for me! Razzo, Carlo, tie him up. He was going to blow up the maid. Leave him to us, Captain. Yes, he'll be really sorry when we finish with him. 
just tie him up for now. But, but why would Simpkins leave without me? See, no one likes you. Now tell me where Simpkins is heading. But I don't know. I really don't. You want us to loosen his tongue, Capitan? No, Arno is a coward. He must be telling the truth. Simpkins didn't know anything before he came here. Have you heard of Tanner Island before? No, Capitan. Uh, not me, Captain. I haven't heard of it either. No one asked you. This map must be connected to our quest. We need to investigate it further. Uh, what about this piece of scum? Leave him tied to the pole. Perhaps the locals will pelt him with rotten fruit. You wait, Morgan. I swear you'll pay for this. Talk as much as you want, Arno. Razzo, go get Nacho inside the inn. We're leaving. Senor Brisco, it's good to see you again. Thank you, Captain. Although, to be honest, I didn't expect you to return after hearing about the fire at your house. Once we managed to put out the fire, the damage was superficial. I've already arranged the repairs. But the reason I'm here is Elizabeth. She threw me out. <laughs> She's mad at you for not telling her about the quest, the danger she was in, the fire. She didn't care about any of those things. But if I don't find her jewelry, she'll never allow me in the house again. But it's your house. Morgane, the ways of married couples are complex and mysterious. <laughs> Senor Brisco? Yes? How is Elizabeth after her ordeal? She's doing remarkably well. She's already talking about redecorating the whole house. She's not staying there while you're away, surely? No, I've arranged for her to stay with friends until I return. They must be very good friends. Do you have any other information about Tanner? Anything you didn't mention before? Uh, I'm not aware of missing anything. I took the sketch map from Arno when I caught him. He took it from your desk. How astonishing. Fancy me forgetting something like this. Now I've seen it again. I remember finding it years ago. I must have put it in my desk and simply forgotten about it. Do you know where the island is? Not yet, but once I consult the charts, it will be easy to locate. Papa? Let us talk later, Morgane. Papa created this shrine in honor of Mama. I have a few more things to do here before I can leave. I wonder what would happen if I orientated to match up the known landmarks. Look! Tanner Island is just there! Well done, Morgane. Can we set sail for there immediately? Of course. Then I shall rest in my cabin until we arrive. The excitement of today has exhausted me.
Papa? Yes, Morgan. I visited the old house. What? I told you to stay away from there. I thought I had been clear about that. But you also said I had to use my initiative. It is not a subject for debate. Stay away. Should I make it a formal order? Mama died years ago. You've got to put it behind you. Enough! Do you want me to clap you in irons? You're the bravest captain and the best father possible, yet you fear confronting this. Mama isn't coming back. Do you think I don't know that? There isn't a day. Captain, what's going on? Ah, get out! Both of you! Why on earth did you interrupt Papa and me? It was just as well that I did. You sounded like you were gonna kill each other. He was really close to talking about Mama. Ow. Oh. Yes, ow. Oh. Now he'll be on his guard if I try again. Still, you made progress this time. Yes, yes I did, but it's still taking too long. I agree. It's eating away at the captain like a festering sore. If I could just get him to the old house! Uh, maybe I could carry him in his sleep. <laughs> As if that would work. Wait, if he was in a sleep he wouldn't wake from, then you could. Some kind of sleeping draft. Perhaps, I'll give it some thought. But it needs to be subtle, or he'll realize. What about the sleepy fly? A bite from it will put a person to sleep for a couple of hours. I've never heard of a sleepy fly. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one. <gasps> Mama would have known. She used to love reading about plants and flowers, even insects. I remember. She had quite a collection of books in your house. This is the restroom. It can be hell when you're the only woman on board. It's locked. How strange. Diego? Yes? I've never heard of a sleepy fly. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one. <gasps> Mama would have known. I remember. What's wrong with the privy? You know the mackerel soup Kylo mate? Every member of the crew has been there. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I get the picture. I'm glad I had the tuna. Where do you want to go?